the Dog Walk Chronicles. Today is the first reading is from, I believe, Romans chapter 4. And what does St. Paul tell us? Uh, oh, I believe it's the the uh, the part where he talks about faith and Abraham and that's always a big contention that between Catholics and say Protestants uh, Psalm oh gosh no, I forgot Thir I don't know I don't know which Psalm uh, there's like 128 right or 100 and some odd Anyway, and then Luke uh, chapter 12, and what do we hear? Jesus is talking about not, if I'm not mistaken, that the Pharisees are hypocrites and unleavened bread or something, or that may have been yesterday. But uh, what I want to talk about is I talk about Catholicism a lot. And I'm always, when someone dies, I always, if it's someone particular that I've heard of, or not, or someone interesting, I try to read into it a little bit, into the obituary, look into it. One person who died a while ago was David Bowie. Tried to look in to see if he was Catholic. And I couldn't get, I didn't spend a lot of time, but I looked at a few sources, and in his later life he seemed to be spiritual, he, uh-oh, something's running. Guess he's going to go crazy, the deer running out there. Good, maybe he's not going to go crazy. He's just going to look. Um, but I think I got that Bowie's parents were Catholic. I never could find if he was baptized or not, which then would mean he was Catholic. Uh, he did at some point believe in lots of different things during his life. He, I think, he was Christian at some point, and they say that he made some songs that had Christian uh, kind of ideas. Oh, there's a woodpecker. Um, and that dead tree. And, uh, yeah, I had a, had a student in class, in the 7th, 8th grade class. I don't know how she mentioned it, but she said something about liking Bowie. And I've always loved David Bowie's music, not necessarily his, all of his life choices, but uh, I've always enjoyed his music. Back from when I was her age, probably. Anyway, um, I'm always... I'm always... Uh, joyful when I hear about someone who's Catholic. I heard Jack White was Catholic, is Catholic. Um, he had a, uh, apparently Stephen Colbert would have a, some kind of a segment where he would try to um, match his Catholicism with some other person. I believe Patricia Heaton. Uh, came on and Jack White came on and did a little thing with him and they were talking about their Catholic faith and you know and you know oh well what about this and they go I never heard of that or oh yeah we did that too so they match up their Catholic their their Catholic experience and one thing way back when I did one of some of my first videos I noticed that uh, Stephen Colbert I had heard was Catholic and then I heard Jimmy Kimmel and and Conan and uh, O'Brien and uh, Jimmy Fallon and I think one other one were all are all Catholic and we're all altar servers and then they all became uh, you know night show hosts so I made I made the uh, the connection that I also am Catholic and I also was an altar server and you know, when was I going to get my show? Who was going to get me my show? And that was like nine or ten years ago. Well, here's an update. I'm ashamed 
you know, I try in the, in the morning, I pray and I ask not to. I bless myself, my forehead, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, and my heart before reading the gospel. And when I read, bless my mouth, I say that I would speak with the mouth of Jesus. You know, that um, with, uh, you know, compassion and encouragement, not with complaining or gossip or lies or innuendo or any other kind of um, inappropriate speech. And I don't want to complain, but uh, I am a little ashamed of all the late night talk hosts, show hosts, because they all seem to me to be pretty well woke and pretty well left, left leaning. And, you know, I don't hear any of them talking about the evils of abortion. I don't hear any of them. The, I don't listen to them, frankly, a lot. But, I mean, over the years, in the last 10 or 11 years since I did that video, I, I, I have watched them on different occasions. And it seems to me that there's, there's a move away. If you're going to be, if you're Catholic and you acknowledge at least Colbert acknowledges his Catholicism, then in the same vein with President Biden, you should, your life should reflect what a Catholic is. You should look Catholic in deed and in word. And if you're not going to uh, condemn abortion, if you're not going to um, condemn this idea that, that God didn't create the man and woman, but man, woman, and all number of variations, then don't, then it might not be, it, it gives people the wrong idea that as a Catholic, you can believe anything. I mean, of course you can, but it doesn't make you, it does, people might think that what you believe is within the bounds of the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church, I'm pretty sure, complete, no, is pretty definitive, no, Toby, no, is pretty definitive that you cannot be pro-abortion. It is definitive that God made the man and woman. Um, there also is a stance that a, a country is entitled to their borders. And while you have to be charitable to the immigrant and you should be opening to the immigrant, it doesn't mean you should allow, you should be, that you have to allow uh, just the entire world to just come through, just drop a fence and say, come on in, everybody. That's not necessary. So, uh, yeah, so these talk show hosts, uh, I think I'll distance myself from them. We have similarities, but... Um, their lack of speaking up for their faith doesn't help to move the faith forward. If people are impressed by Phelan and Colbert and uh, Kimmel and, and give them some respect and, and listen to them, then that's the perfect opportunity for these people to actually speak their faith. And instead, they're following the lead of uh, the godless, I would say. Um, or, okay, they have an opportunity and they're, they're failing it as far as I can see. And that's uh, not a moment to be, um, not a moment that you, yeah, that's shameful, okay. Now, 